Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to implement leaderboard for Google Play service and game center in your Unity project. The first thing you need to do is to look for this API, Cloud One's Unified Game Service API. The link will be in the description, so click here to download the latest release of the package. After you have downloaded the package, go to Asset, you import package, import the package you have downloaded. Make sure you import everything. This should take a little while. So we are wait for it. But it should be less than one minute. Okay, now the import is done. Then we need to set up the Cloud Ones API. So go to Cloud Ones Editor. Then by default, the Google Play service should be turned off. So make sure you turn it on and the Apple Game Center also. And now we need to look for Google Application ID. So Go to your Google Play console, look for Game Service, and click Add New Game. Now, insert your the name of your game. Let's say Tutorial Board. Choose your clever and continue. This is the application ID of your game. So copy it, then back to paste it inside and run the setup. Or in build setting in the platform of, oh, we need to switch to Android platform. Let's go to build setting, choose Android, and switch platform. Okay, now go back to the editor and run the setup. Yep, wait for the dependency to be resolved. It should be a very quick one. Then, mm, uh -huh. oh, oops, we need to add a leaderboard. So click add leaderboard. This will be our the internal name of our leaderboard. So I will be using my game high score. Then we need to look for the ID for the game center and game service. So go back to Google Play Console and click the leaderboards. Then add new leaderboard. So put in your the name of your leaderboard high score. Format numeric is fine, fine. So zero to nine 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 min and max of your high score. So click save. This will be your leaderboard ID. So we need to copy this, copy, and paste it inside the game services. Now go to your iTunes Connect. Look for your apps and features. Oh, let me save this first because I just now I was testing. I have a new leaderboard. Choose a single leaderboard. Reference name, high score. Leaderboard ID, anything you want. Mm, com dot tutorial dot leaderboard score format integer 
max to high, hard order high to low, zero to nine nine nine. So add language. Language will be English. Uh, high score. Integer. Score format self fix. Um, point will do. Full row of points. Click save. Save. Yep. Copy this leadable ID and paste it on game center section. Now save the configuration. Now our setup for cloud one has done. So we need to create an empty game object. We call this score manager and create a new folder scripts and new script score manager edit the score manager script now remove the update method we are not using it then Using we need the UI from Unity Engine to get the reference for the text score text. We create integer score. Then now we need to initialize the cloud once plugin. So cloud fix the error using cloud once dot initialize. As you can see, initialize will take a First boolean at the cloud set we are not using it, so we are putting false, and the second one will be auto sign in. Uh, true for now. Yeah. Now we need to create another method for the callback of the initialization success. So public void cloud once initialize complete. Then we are log debug dot log warning initializer. Okay, now we need to add the callback to the cloud once cloud dot on cloud initialize complete. Append the callback inside. Then now we need to remove once the initialize is complete. Yep. Now we will create another method for our score button. Click score. Increase the score by one and set the text to the score. Also calling a readerboard dot our my game high score to submit the score. Yep. This is that's it for our score manager. Go back to Unity. Add the script to the score manager. Reference the score text. And now we need to create a button for our leaderboard. UI button. Reset position. And change the new to leaderboard button. Change the text as well to leaderboard. Um, move it to below the score button. Yep. Now we need to add a uh, on click to leaderboard button. But as for cloud ones, the plugin already prepared a script for us. So look for cloud ones, so leaderboard button. Yeah, that's it. You don't have to do anything else for the button. Now, we will add the on click to the add score button. Score manager, look for click score. Okay, now we are ready to test on the editor. As you can see, 
the a plugin is initialized success and score button is working leaderboard is working too but it's not supported by the editor so we are trying to test it on the on an android simulator now so go to your google play console now look for uh, let me check the game details yep link app section as you can see i have added an app to this game service you have to create an application at your google play console and upload an apk for it then you are able to search the package name over here after you have input your package name then click continue yep authorize your app now this will create an android OO client for your app because google will verify every api request for your app to this game service now you have successfully linked this game service to your client id so go to testing we need to add a tester let put in my gmail account click add don't ask me why this takes so long i have no idea with my internet access okay cool then after you have added that go back to our unity we need to view our game view view and run yep any name will do now click for the view Yeah, we are here. So as you can see, the auto sign in is working. Now, using my account to log in to Google Plans service. Login success, click a leaderboard. As you can see, our leaderboard is showing with no score. Try add some score. Cool, the score is there. Yep. I think that's it for this tutorial. We have successfully implemented a leaderboard for the Google Play service and Game Center. It should work fine for the Apple Game Center also. I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.